Mom, can we have a lightsaber? No, we have lightsabers at home. Hey gang, welcome back to Inverted Pursuits Laboratory and happy 4th of July. It's uh, becoming a pretty good weekend so far, would you say? Oh yeah, definitely. So uh, we got engaged a couple days back, so very happy. Have this crazy nut in my life. Mm. But uh, we're getting ready for a uh, safe 4th of July. We're gonna have lots of friends and family over uh, for our red, white, and boom celebration. And uh, of course we are pulling off ultimate cringe here. It's the only goal, only goal in the entire world. But let's get going for this all. You wanna go show them some safety for starters? Oh, we're gonna do that again? Yeah, you gotta be safe. That's fair. Fourth safety. All right, let's go be safe, kids. Okay, kiddos. So uh, we have here our lovely fireworks um, stash here that we have also helpfully organized for ourselves. Um, and the fireworks shop we actually bought these from, not a tent, an actual shop, gave us these spiffy little safety brochures. So that's what we'll be reading off for you guys today. And uh, first and foremost, always just read the, in the instructions and the labels. Like, if you light it from this end, you probably shouldn't hold it from that end. Things like that, don't point it at people, that kind of thing. Always have an adult present, like I guess we're technically adults. Technically. It's not scary. <laughs> we also like to have fire extinguishers available, which you'll see in the video probably at some point. Excuse me, sir. Anyway, we also have a, a bucket of water to dunk everything that we, we light off after it's done. Um, buy from reliable sellers. I, yeah, most tents are pretty decent, but like we always have started to buy from actual establishments because they're cheaper and so they actually know what they're handling. Um, use outdoor only, obviously. Not in a garage or anything because that's sketchy. Uh, always have water handy. Like I mentioned, we have a bucket, um, a garden hose and a bucket is what they recommend. Uh, never experiment or make your own fireworks. <laughs> Unless you're certified. Unless you're certified, which I'm technically not even certified, even though I have like a degree in this. Like I have to go through a whole bunch of other like state safety stuff. So, but um, light only one firework at a time. Hmm. <laughs> I know it's kind of a bummer, but that's the safe way to do it, guys. Uh, never relight a dud. This is really important. This is actually something that was really hit on in my coursework. Uh, wait 15 to 20 minutes and then soak it in a bucket of water. Like don't even try to relight it. Just it's done. It's a misfire, a hang fire, no, doesn't matter what it is, just pitch it, try another one. Um, never give fireworks to small children. Come on, guys. Uh, if necessary, store fireworks in a cool, dry place. That's why these have been in a garage for since we bought them a couple weeks back. Uh, dispose of fireworks properly by soaking them in water and then disposing them in your trash can. Kind of talked about that already. Never point or throw fireworks at any of anybody else. That's a common sense, I mean, we've guys. We've got a good example. Of yes. People so want. one of the new popular products this year is this really cool, super long lightsaber sparkler. Is basically all it is, and we tested one out just to see what it would do, and it it um, sprays about like six feet of sparks, and so we're like, okay, that's the safe distance for them. But no, you should really like double or triple that distance and don't point them at anybody ever because you don't know if anything's going to come shooting out of the end of that. Or if it's just going to blow up. Or yeah, it could just blow up. Um, never shoot fireworks in metal or glass containers. Never carry fireworks in your pocket. As tempting as that might be to just you know, light a firecracker under your buddy's feet. Like, no, don't do that. That's bad. Um, the shooter should always wear eye protection and ha never have any body part over the firework. So don't lean over a mortar tube or over your bottle rocket you're about to set off or anything like that. Um, and yeah, safety glasses. I have, we have our safety protection. Um, we'll also wear earplugs just because we're lighting off so much stuff and a lot of this makes a lot of noise when we're really, when we're the ones actually like lighting it off. And even though we're a safe distance away, we're still the closest ones. And so after several hours of lighting off fireworks, we need hearing protection just because we're old and we get headaches easy. Um, and some of us are partially deaf already. <laughs> Um, stay away from illegal explosives. We're being safe here, children. Come on. Yeah, know um, your county rules. County, city, state rules. Yeah, all your local your, rules. Uh, fireworks aren't allowed in certain areas. Yeah, like bottle rockets can be restricted. Firecrackers are restricted. Certain sizes, certain weights, up to certain quantities, that kind of thing. 
um, have a designated shooter, alcohol and fireworks, do not mix. So don't drink in light fireworks. Um, Explosives and drinking never mix. No, energetics in general and alcohol don't mix. So there's our little rules to live by here. Be safe, have fun, and yeah, happy 4th, everybody. Hey gang, thanks for watching. Hope you had a great and safe 4th of July, and I'll see you in the next video.